tell you about how it was a super Sunday for Men in Blue with the Young Turks putting up a performance at Wanderers, which can only be described as like a wow. Now, first, it was the super show by young pacers, Arshdeep Singh and Avesh Khan, to stun the host with swing and seam. Arshdeep picked up a fifer and Avesh four wickets on a seamer-friendly Wanderers track to leave the Proteas pink with embarrassment. Now, after being scribbled out for a mere 116, if South Africa had any hopes of making a match of it, they were dashed by debutant Sai Sudarshan and Shreyas Ayer. Now, both went to score dominating half centuries as India cantered to eight wicket win with 200 deliveries to spare. My colleague Ashish tells us everything that went down in this superb match for Team India. Well, what an incredible day this was uh, for the men in blue. The fourth highest win for India in their ODI cricket history. They won with 200 balls against South Africa, who won the toss. But after that, nothing else went in their favour. India had been dominating from ball one. Their pacers turning up today, picking up nine wickets. The first time, uh, in fact, that Indian pacers have picked up so many wickets in an ODI in South Africa. Ashdeep Singh, the man of the match, of course, uh, picking up five wickets on a seamer friendly wicket. The first Indian pacer to pick up five wickets against South Africa in the ODI format and that too in South Africa. He was of course uh, ably followed up with uh, Avesh Khan who's picked up four wickets as well and when it came to the batting, India continued their dominance uh, with the bat as well. Uh, of course, Ruturaj Gaikwad fell early but after that, the partnership between Shreyas Ayer and Sai Sudarshan. Sai Sudarshan, remember, he's making his debut today. He was making his debut today and he scored a 50, the 17th Indian in fact to score a 50 on his ODI debut and it was not just the number of runs he scored, it was also the style in which he played. He was very confident against the spin and even the seamer friendly wickets did not really bother him too much. Very, very good signs for India but what's more heartening for India is the fact that none of their top stars, no, there was no Kohli, there was no Bumrah, there was no Rohit Sharma, Shami or even Jadeja in the lineup today but India continued their dominance. The, the style of play that we saw in the World Cup in India as well. Of course, the final was a blip, but uh, having said that, we've seen a particular style of play uh, when it comes to India in the ODI matches, in the ODI format, and they've continued that very aggressive style of play, even with the bowling and even with the batting. And of course, this turned out to be a super Sunday for the men in blue who've now left South Africa pink with embarrassment with this massive victory.